Yeah. Like, especially when you're not working with the same hardware, because, like, she had to work with the hardware limitations. Yeah. I guess something like, uh, I don't know, Insane Trilogy is, like, I have a lot more nostalgia to the original, so I'm just gonna prefer most of those by default. Ah, uh, yes, this maddening song. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I would say this, um, there is like a secret, not not secret, but like there, there is like, um, technically a harder, um, like difficulty where like, I forget what it's and called. They add extra notes, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I've tried that and it just confused, confuses the hell out of me. <laughs> they add extra buttons to the hit specifically. Yeah. I mean, it, it's more just, I mean, yeah. I, it's hard, sometimes it's hard not to in the proud mode song at points. Yeah. Although this game definitely brings up my inner perfectionist, because like, in this game in particular, more than any other rhythm game I've played, I have to get perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you actually have to do rainbow or full chain? Full chain. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say full chain and rainbow? Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, I'm, not I'm, not I'm not dying. I'm not dying. I'm not I was gonna be like, oh god, if you were like that, I don't want to know what you were like when you were playing this for the first mm -hmm. week. That dark ball just took a big chunk out of Ariel. Oh yeah, actually, that, that reminds me. The enemies here are using their ba original designs. Oh good. yeah, I was gonna mention like that. Yeah. Good. I like the original designs more. But you don't like. But you don't like. But you don't like fruity looking um uh, 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 guard armor. No, I fucking hate fruity guard armor. <laughs> the clown one. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I do. I think it's more. I, I. For me, it's kind of a case by case basis. I mean, some of them look better than others, obviously, but. Yeah. I feel, but I think their designs were a lot better back then. I, I think. Wait, actually, wasn't on birds also changed in Final Mix though too? Yes. Oh yeah. Right. Well, yeah. I even, think. I even, think. Even, yeah, like, e like, cause like the um. Uh, because they were more bluish, I believe, in the original. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, because like, um, because uh, like, I think about the flood, which are the basic ones, like, because like, yeah. those, because like, those ones are like, those ones are like dark blue, like, or, or, like a, like a, like a weird dark blue, and then they become like a uh, more of a purpley in um, uh, in Final Mix. Hmm. I, I, I think, I think, uh. Overall, I, I'd say two fared better with the redesigns than one did. I'm it's not. Also, I'm uh, not sure about Bird uh, by Sleep. We do have to. Uh, there is a small reminder that in uh, ch re Chain of Memories, they they kept the original designs. Right. Is it me or is this one have a little bit more energy to it? I think it's the background beat. Yeah. It's a little bit more in your face of it. Yeah. I think that's the thing with um the midis in general, like, sometimes the, the beats just pop more. Yeah. I mean, some... I mean, like, because, like, I... Midi is always a very case-by-case case basis, although, like, yeah. when I listen to, like, Dragon Quest music, I can't... I... It, it, there's, like, only a few songs that I prefer in the midi. But again, they were designed with the, uh, orchestra first. Yeah. You know? So some of the notes just get lost. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I feel like some series, like soundtracks, just feel better in a lower, like, quality or like not lower quality, but like, um, like MIDI or, um, not necessarily orchestra or something. Kind of hard to improve on perfection. <laughs> yeah. If you will. I mean, uh, well, like, well cause that uh, reminds me, cause that, cause that reminds me, some of the songs in Xenoblade Definitive Edition, uh, they actually, some of them actually didn't get remixed. I mean, it's also, well, it's also that, and like, some series, uh, I feel like in... Some series just work better in the original styles, I feel. Like, uh... Hold on. Yeah, this is... You're about to die, by the way. Yeah, this is kind of going terribly. Yeah, that was a little tough. That's why I wasn't saying anything. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why I was kind of hoping, hoping to get you back on the rhythm. <laughs> right. No, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I think we have a little bit of delay on our end. Right. Um, no, it's because like something like the like the banjo series. I I do like. I, I do enjoy. I, I like the soundtrack in Nuts and Bolts, but like. You got an A plus for all that. <laughs> yeah, no, I I don't deserve that. But like, I if 
Say if like they did like a HD remake of the first two games, I straight up just wouldn't want them to like remix the soundtracks. Cause I, I, cause it just wouldn't sound right to me. Twenty-two percent health left. <laughs> hey, well you know what? We'll do that off-screen. Or no. Well, I mean, or not at all. <laughs> or not at all. I like that idea too. Part of your world. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is like a weird one because the because it's a weird like more it's this one definitely feels more like background music. Mm. I don't think I would listen to the back. I don't, I don't think I would listen to it in the background though. It doesn't. It, it's just like almost Resident Sleeper music for me. The battle theme though. Mm. Oh yeah, the battle yeah, theme. The battle theme's a lot better. Yeah. I remember I mean, actually. I, uh, I remember when we were at, after I first played Melody of Memory, um, I actually went back to listen to some of the songs to compare how I feel about them in MIDI versus the orchestra. Hmm. And like, yeah, some, uh, my, yeah, it was like, huh. I was like, some of these were better than I remember them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the battle theme. I think this is one one of the best battle themes in Kingdom Hearts One. Mm-hmm. Oh, this, this song, though, feels definitely better with the orchestra. <laughs> right. I mean, this is... This, this is like, um... Like... Was it like... A theme that's very, like, minim minimalist or whatever? Yeah. Definitely feels more like, like, just exploring a place more than anything. <laughs> I, I, well, that and also, like... You're not exactly in a... Friendly place, so it feels like... The, the theme, like, makes it feel, like... You're you're it's you're, you're more, in yeah, danger. You're you're in danger, basically. You're on hook right. ship, so it does make sense. And I I, I will say this: I, you're I, literally I, in enemy territory. <laughs> yeah, I will say this: I do like how, uh, no, like, this this world, uh, uh, like ties into um, Hollow Bastion really well. Yeah, it leads directly to it. Yeah. Oh, that transition though. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I think that's another thing I like about Kingdom Hearts One's worlds is the fact that they all the like like mo the worlds kind of like kind of just tied together one big adventure nicely. Yeah. Even even if, even if we because like even if like some because like there's still the ultimate goal of Solo looking for his friends no matter where he is. Hmm. Like he's so, always asking. Uh, yeah, and along the way you're like feeling the keyhole and stuff. Yeah. 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 It feels more like it feels more like it feels more like just like we're just doing this as we go. Yeah. I definitely don't feel that way with two though. It's literally just go to the world and are yeah. they here? Nope. Mm. Uh, okay, moving they're, on. They're, okay. they're definitely a lot more self-contained. Oh yeah. How do you pronounce that? Pirates could go. I I don't know how you pronounce that. G -G. But this one. <laughs> this one sounds. I love the. This is such a good song. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, a lot, a lot of the other games, like the the worlds, feel more like episodic adventures, I guess. Last time on Kingdom Hearts One. Yeah. I do think Dream Drop Distance uh, does a pretty good job overall, though. More than uh, most people would say. Well, we're, well, we're, well, we have a reason to go to each world. Yeah. The sleeping no world. What, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, our goal is to do that. Ultimately, is to uh, is to do the, the keyhole stuff. <laughs> yeah. We're not just there to be there. I kind of that's why I kind of don't like to. It's literally you're just undoing the process you actually did in Kingdom Hearts One by reopening the keyholes. So we can so we can get back to our worlds. <laughs> yeah. Of all. Uh, yeah, I mean, really well, like, like you know, you know, like reopening the the keyholes from Kingdom Hearts One, like it's kind of it's, we're it's bit, opening we're the way, yeah, yeah, we're, just opening yeah, like all... pathways. You know, you're not like yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not like you're opening like the hearts of the worlds again or anything. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Otherwise, the heartless would just have an easy open door inside. Yeah. Oh boy, time to get rid of this world that no one cared about or probably loved. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would say I think I see two differently, like. Uh, I see two as like, uh, you go to the worlds to stop the organization MP and Maleficent from doing their stuff, and I see one is more stop the Heartless, basically. Yeah, well, there are only enemies, so it's also more consistent right. with that. 
Right. Although it, the first half of Kingdom Hearts 2, I think, does it pretty good with the whole, like, Pete, since Pete and Maleficent are the, are the main overarching bad guy for that part. Yeah. If, if, if the organization shows up, then that's, like, uh, that's more, at that point, it's more like the side goal is making sure they don't get the way. It's a side episode. It's a side episode. It's an DLC content. <laughs> when we get to when we get to the uh, second parts, obviously. Oh please! Like, we... That was such a huge waste of time. I, uh, I, I think about it. I think. I think, on, about it, I think like on. most of it could have just we could have not had that. Like come on. Well, well, I don't agree why, with that. I don't completely agree with that. I, I, like, that's what Beast Castle, for example. I, I say like, this. You know, I definitely. Yeah, well, I, mean, I think I will say this. I said, well, yeah. No, I'll say this. I do think. Um, like the stories are very clearly like cut in half. Like you could probably do have the second half of the worlds, like just play off like right after the first half and just be like one visit. But I don't yeah. think the the second visits themselves are pointless. I think that honestly, I think like a lot of them are like more interesting than the first visits in terms of like what happens and the uh, the characters that show up. Um, but I, I, yeah, like, like uh, Castle is the only one that I can think of that I actually legitimately okay, like. Well, Zaldin, Zaldin, Zaldin's involved with both parts of it, and I, I would argue that Port Royal is he, a pretty good in that regard as well. Oh, uh, because well, Cause anything it, that usually mm, anything that has us well, anything that has us chasing after the organization definitely. Yeah, because I think Cause, you know, cause, like because Luxord is there. Yeah, Luxord is there, and he's like actively like screwing you over, like any chance he get he gets, and Harley. Uh, yeah, so like, um, wh what I like about Worlds in 2 like that is that like, the organization feels more like a direct threat, like the, it feels like they're more directly interacting with you throughout the game. Um, and like Kingdom just- Kingdom Hearts 3! <laughs> and like stuff, yeah, stuff like Zelda and, um, Luxord just do that really well, I think. I still think I still think Zaldin is probably the better example overall, especially yeah, since he yeah uh, yeah I, I think he has to fight him. Zaldin is definitely the better example, but I do think like both are like good um, showcases of like why the villain should be considered a threat. It's still really it's, it's still really kind of insane that with the if you don't count that little bit with um uh, with Demix in Olympus, like Zaldin's the only one we fight. <laughs> That's in yeah. a Disney World. Yeah. I mean, like... I, I've seen an interesting point that, like... Um... Psyx is more of, like... It feels more like the main rival to Sora than, like, Xemnas does in 2, because... Psyx is, like, constantly... Like, like, he talks to you throughout the game. Um... And, like... Uh, what is it? Oh, oh yeah, of course. At the he's very not, end he's of all Sora along the king of... Yeah, he nudges <laughs> Sora... The answer is no. Fucking troll faces yeah. at them. Holy shit. Yeah, he nudges that Sora, Sora throughout, like the game, throughout the game. Uh, whereas, like... Sora doesn't really interact with Zenless that much. Like, until, like, the yeah, end game. Literally at the end of the game. And maybe, like... Well, no, in, in the, halfway at the point, end of the halfway point as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, you something the battle theme. Oh, right, right. Oh, yes, I'm not, I'm not sick of this hearing this theme for um, how many times now? Oh yes, I love getting I love getting Save the Queen. <laughs> oh yes, I love getting Save the King. We have to beat this in less than 15 minutes. Also, that trick where you like will like pause when you do the Hercules fight and the timer stops. Yes. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> Good thing I did that shit off screen during the during the recording. I mean, I mean you probably you're know, just gonna you know, show the cutscene, right? Oh, oh yeah. Well. Yeah, I I saw I well, I showed the entire Hades Cup or, like the main Hades Cup because you know that that is relevant. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, dude, you gotta fight Hades. You gotta fight James Woods. I yeah, think because um, yeah, like all the, cause the fights there are technically unique instances of fights. So. Yeah, I think the the way I see that the four two and one and two specifically, um, the way I see the the, the the way I see the stories in these two games is that one I think one is more. Uh, consistent, but I think two has to higher. There. I, I think two has to higher highs. Yeah, that's fair enough, I guess. <laughs> Especially when you have stuff like the like the Hollow Bastion in uh, two, where like that that just goes so hard. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, the when you get to, like, the thousand heartless fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I wish I wish they kept the original design where you had they had the wyvern and the behemoth. That shit would have been so hype. <laughs> Oh, 
I also kind of wish it was a little bit more interactive than pressing triangle a bunch of times too, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, I, I, I use the Thousand Heartless fight as a excuse to grind um, limit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've also heard that the, the Wyverns and stuff weren't there because hardware limitations. I can understand the Behemoth though, because that's like a boss fight in number one, but like, yeah. I think they could have gotten away with the Wyvern, you know? I mean, I think the, I think they could barely, uh, for my, for my, uh, for my gather, they probably barely managed to get it working as they, like, as it is now. Yeah, that's um, funny. On PS2, it definitely, I can understand. Yeah. You know what's funny? But you know what's funny? You know what's funny about the cutscene of like Sora, uh, about the cutscene just before the part has a part. So I, I think it's actually pre-rendered because um, yeah, uh, he's always called the Kingdom Key. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of the only <laughs> scenes that does that. that. Away. I'm using fucking. Um, I'm using Circle <laughs> no, of I, Life or fucking no, um, no. Oh no! What are you talking about? I'm doing. I'm doing a. Uh, what's it called? Run. You're doing Kingdom a fucking. Key only. Um, Facebook, Facebook. Base equipment run, yeah. No, yeah. no, no, you sweet memory did lowered your attack. In, a, in original. Oh, I thought it did that in number two, though. Okay, but yeah, no, it does it. Oh, it, it, yeah. it gives you a ma it, I don't. I think it doesn't give you any attack boost, but it gives you a magic boost in, uh, in Final Mix. I'm trying to remember, it's been too long. And plus, and plus it's now, and, plus, and now it, and now it has drive converter. Here's a question. Uh, what mm -hmm. would you guys say has the we? What game do you think has the weakest world lineup? Weakest world lineup? Yeah, not in terms of uh, like how well, good the world that was themselves are in the game. Just the choice. Just the, list. the choice. The choices. Um. We're obviously gonna obviously not counting the stuff. Obviously, we can't count shit like um uh, like recoded or anything like that. Well, that's, that's counting, just like, gonna be. Memories, it's literally just that's the same that's world just from one. Yeah, that's one just one again. So. And even then, at that case, we all we could do is count it. it all we can really think about the count is um. Uh, the main series, BBS. Uh, oh no, I, no, I mean, I'm talking in terms of chain of memories. That'd all be we like do is castle, the, the Castle Oblivion itself. Yeah, that was same for recoded as well. Yeah, good point. Um. That's a hard one think. because like. Uh, Maybe like, birth by sleep. Maybe. I I. Mm. Purpose sleep is probably the one I think of first. I, yeah, oh, I, I, I think yeah, I think it, like, it's yeah, I think the same world except like different areas like no, Neverland think, or like I um, think um, um well yeah, well I, I mean because like if we're going yeah there's a lot more like retreading familiar ground but they do have some interesting bits. Yeah, I mean, like, they have it's, some um, new world. They have like Sleeping Beauty, Snow White. Fucking um, Cinderella. Like the the worlds and, themselves know, like, are fine, like, but like uh, I think uh, Burp yeah. by Burp by Sleep's choice list just compared to the other game. <laughs> yeah, compared to the other games, just, I just don't think the lineup is as, as interesting. Yeah, I get what you mean. Cause like I like what Dream Drop does. Like yeah, especially like it, cause like it, what you, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because like it's like even if it's like a familiar ground, it's still something new. I think, I don't know. If, I think I mainly ties to Prince's Paradise, but I don't know if Dream Drop has my favorite world list, but it's probably like top two or top top two or three. Um, what, what was it? Um, since we since we got through Neverland earlier, I gotta say one thing I like about Neverland in all the games, it not at least it's a different not, area. At least it's a different every area. Every single time. Every single time it's a different area. Like every time, ship, every every time we, every time we've been here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the pirate ship, the Neverland, it's never, never, the island of Neverland itself in BBS. Oh right, and, right, um, right. And um, the sky, and the, the skies above Neverland in uh in the three by eight. Hmm. I honestly forgot about that one to be honest. I remember, I can never forget about that one because of the boss fight. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll say this much. From what I remember of days itself. Uh, like the the world, more so the world design. Uh, that's probably the worst in the series because I, I I like wh wh especially when there's like unique areas specifically made for days. It's just Ag it's just Agrabah. It's just so monotonous. Agrabah comes to mind for me. Yeah. <laughs> I never beat. I've never been, and honestly, I'm don't, don't think I'm missing much. Uh, y y just uh, I don't know. I mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of cool that like some worlds from previous games have new runes, but they're not usually that good. Oops. Whenever, I, mean, I, I like whenever, whenever we go to the Cave of Wonders, it's something brand new in the inside, but... Yeah. 
I don't know, it's just like, there's this weird, like, platforming, like, the, the very first room of the Cave of Wonders in Agrabah, it's like this weird, like, square, like, right, square room with, like, a bunch of pillars. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're talking hey, about. Hey, don't you like... I mean, I also didn't like stealthing through that book to Pete, but... <laughs> I don't know what uh, Daisy's obsession with, like, stealth was. Sure. Wait, the organization, can't be, the organization can't be seen, trust me. <laughs> I mean, I, I I get it, but, like, gameplay-wise, it's just kind of annoying. Especially sometimes when they just mix it into missions that don't involve it. <laughs> yeah. It's like... Like... Yeah. Also, Monsters Monster was... Mm. Yeah, it's pretty... Yeah, that's a good thing. I, um... Yeah, that's why I say, like, Days is, like, the game you you just watched the movie for, and Recoder just did, like, the game that is actually for the gameplay. Yeah. Because, um... I, mean, yeah, I, I, I did beat Recoder, and I didn't beat Days, so I guess that does say something. Because, like, Recoder, like... Like, unironically, like, Recoded as a game kind of slaps. <laughs> um, yeah, it has, it has some interesting... The, the, the battle mechanics are fascinating. <laughs> but, like, yeah, but, like, Day Days is just kind of boring <laughs> I literally can't think of anything to like about days like, I mean even if I, I've even watched it too it just doesn't look fun yeah I mean like days days is, it's not days isn't really fun days has one of the best stories in the series but like gameplay wise it's, weakest gameplay it, 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 I would rather play uh, Chain of Memories it's, it's so and that's, saying, and that's saying a lot because I think Chain of Memories is also at the bottom too. I mean, yeah, Chain of Memories is like generally at, like near the bottom of my list as well, but it still like like it still feels like satisfying. And like, I I can play like a world or two of that game and like have a decent time. Uh, it's definitely not something you like binge though. I love this theme. <laughs> Also, I was gonna say like, um, what is that? Uh, I remember uh, somebody, t one of somebody in a group that I don't talk to anymore. They said um, uh, they right. actually prefer uh, this version over um, uh, oh, this version of the main Hollow Bastion theme. Over oh the, right, uh, right, right, uh, yeah. Over any other version. No, it's fair. I, I prefer this version too. I I kind of like, go even, back and forth. Even the MIDI, like. I kind of go back and forth on that because I actually really like the Bird by Sleep version of, of the Hollow Bastion themes. What are you talking about? It's called Radiant Garden. They're two different ones, I swear. <laughs> he's, he's, he's not wrong. Yeah. I think, like, Radiant, Hollow Bastion Radiant Garden as a collective, I think it's my favorite world in the series. Fair. Well, it was original, so I guess they had some more room to be more original. Like, I mean, it's the, it's the place where, like, most of the crazy stuff happens in the series. Like, one is like any. Thousand heartless fight. Never, yeah. never forget. No, see, this is something. This is what Oops. we were talking about earlier. I definitely would get thrown off because what the fuck am I supposed to be tapping to? Yeah. Um. But yeah, like Hollow Bastion is like a lot of the crazy stuff happens in the series. Like the whole, start the mid middle point in well, not even just that. A lot of stuff in Kingdom Hearts Two happens here. Um. And like it's like the end, an end game area for one, so naturally a lot of big stuff's gonna happen. Um, That's what I like about this place in one in particular because yeah. uh, like like invading the this is the main base really. Yeah, yeah, and like and in birth by sleep as well. That this a lot of big stuff happens here as well. Right. Oh yeah, Aqua fights so, fucking terror annoyed in the center, right? Yeah. Well. Oh yeah, that too. Um. So it just like whenever you go to Radiant Garden. And it's like a playable world in, in in one of these games. You know something's gonna go down. <laughs> I really wish we could do it in Kingdom Hearts Three. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit to the No Day. Let's go. Yeah, boy. Even though I prefer, I prefer. Even though I much prefer the uh, orchestra version. Oh yeah, yeah. This one I think is like much better in the orchestra. Like the, the this. Notes a little bit. The notes here sound way too distant. Yeah, like, like, like yeah, the the orchestra version of this, it 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 really strikes you as like this is like the end of the game kind of theme, mm -hmm. or close to it. Yeah, but, well, it's like you know, you, like these these enemies are not gonna play around anymore. I mean, when they also throw defenders, uh, yeah, those guys kind of hurt a lot. Yeah. Oh, that's really satisfying. Wyverns, um, dark balls are down there too. 
Although it's really satisfying to use gravity on those guys and they die like really quickly. Yeah. Yeah. They... Too bad we can't make the joke of like, yay, it's that one Kingdom Hearts song from Smashy Bros. Because I think this is the last one, right? I do think they did a good job. The, the, the choosing Hollow Bastion was a good choice. I mean, choice. what they had to work with, I guess it's okay, but I think that was also just Disney kind of being an ass, you know? I mean... This I mean, the, good, this, was, this was a good stage choice. Yeah, yeah there's, there's no stage, way they were gonna choose a. a there's no way they were gonna choose a Disney World. Yeah, yeah. Disney would have been like, you have to pay a, this fucking much. Well, to be fair, this is more of a Kingdom Hearts world than a yeah. Disney World. Because uh, yeah, I'm glad yeah. they chose this instead of like Destiny Traverse Islands or something. Town or Destiny well, Island, oh, yeah. Traverse Town would have been fine, but like. Traverse Town would have been fine, but, but like, like it, Twilight Town probably not. No, 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 not Twilight Town. The music would definitely not go with yeah, it. The, the, yeah, the music wouldn't work. But like, uh, but I would, I, I'm glad they chose Hollow Bastion rather than like De Destiny Islands or something, because that that would have been like really kind of eh. I think it helps that Hollow Bastion is one of the most uh, like revisited areas in this franchise. Franchise. Yeah. 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 Especially in terms of original uh, uh, levels. Original yeah. worlds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's this one? Is this the boss fight? Oh, no, it's fucking, um... When oh, you it's, oh, this is the Malef... Right, right. Phase 1 Maleficent, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah, Phase 1 Maleficent, um, uh... Clayton. Yeah. Right. Or Hades. Yeah. <laughs> Feel the heat. Feel the heat. Feel the heat. I think... Oh, Cerberus! Cerberus. Yeah, Cerberus. Oh right, oh. Cerberus. Oh, yeah. We, oh god, how can we forget Cerberus? <laughs> I was Everyone gonna say Cerberus. I, I, was gonna say Cerberus first. I was gonna say Cerberus first, but since we're on Hollow Bastion, made me think of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, Cerberus is such a—it's just a difficulty spike for early game. Yeah. Yeah, we don't talk about it. I'm, uh. Okay, okay, we're better at it now because we know what to yeah. do, though. But fucking. Ten-year-old me, holy no, shit! I no, never I hated, died to that guy. I've never so hated a boss, and I never <laughs> thought the game was gonna get any easier after that. But luckily, Clayton, yeah. and, Clayton and Stealth Sneak did that for me, but Cerberus was definitely also up there. No, yeah. Cerberus is harder. One hundred percent, Cerberus. Is I harder than would Clayton. say it's debatable. I, I mean, especially. I mean, how long did it take you in the level one run, Harry? Yeah, uh, yeah, Clayton was hard. In terms of the level one run, yeah, Clay, Clayton, I found harder. Especially since Clayton can just snipe you. Yeah. Good song, though. Oh, Doggy Boogie's first fade. I totally remember, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, oh baby. baby. Two. Six. Eh, uh, yeah, maybe. It looks like the house wins. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of interesting how, like, Oogie has, like, um, a lot of, like, gimmick fights. It's mm -hmm. prob- I, I, I mean, I guess that makes him oh. stand out, oh, you know? Oh. He's definitely unique. Uh huh. I mean, like, although, although, the, although I don't like the conveyor belts in uh, two. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. The, the, I, I, the, I actually the triangle reaction command is a little wonky too. Let's be honest. I do. I, I feel like I'm one of the only people that actually like. Oh, where you go? I, I, I'm, I feel like I'm one of the only people that like the fight in two because I, I, I kind of just I see it as more like a obstacle course fight more than anything. It's okay though, but I kind of wish you had better dodge options too. I guess. The encounter, the encounter though. Hmm. Yeah. As they fought, like most of the most of the Disney fights do do the encounter, I believe. And it's so good. Yeah. Wait. Ow! 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 Hey, oh, hey, guys! Hey, guys! Let's have a contest. Let's see who can replicate this cutscene the most. <laughs> the fucking Riku phase two. When I was um doing this, when I was recording this out in call, I immediately put up the video, it, the the just the pancake video in the bot. <laughs> of course, that, just because the SpongeBob music always kills me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put those black coats on and look cool. Of course. Of course. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, end of the world. Yeah. Uh, and... now we're in the end game yeah. now. I think end of the world is ba it basically like it just uses like four versions of the themes you saw from Dive to the Heart, I think. Mm. I think. 
I just love how just eerie this whole place is. Yeah. Is this, is this really the last world created by the Heartless? Heartless? <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously. Well, I, I mean, I yeah. mean Goofy is the smartest one in the group. Mm -hmm. Goofy is the master of monsters. It's like, it's like, seriously, it's like, is this what happens to the worlds when, when the heart, when the heartless take over? Yeah, right. Like, they, they, yeah. they, they, they become unrecognizable. It's definitely Probably. the most, like, uh, I don't know if I want to say striking, but like, it's the only it's final- It's unsettling, it's unsettling, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's the most unsettling final world in the series. You're literally in the heartless domain. I do like other Keyblade final- Grave, Keyblade Cape Graveyard does come pretty close though, when you like, think about what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, I I do like other Final Worlds in the series more, uh, mainly for like, story significance well, of like, what happens, but like, I think- Yeah. In terms of like, just atmosphere, like, End of the World just does it so well. I will say though, I think other worlds do the world, like, actually exploring the worlds better, because like, this one's a bit more of a straight line. Yeah, I, I don't like. Line and you're just revisiting the same world just to get an item. I mean, I. Well, that, I mean, like even because like even the intro bit where you just gotta heal the walls out. You're just yeah. inevitably you're just going in a straight path. Yeah, like, I you're see. Just flying, oh you're, yeah, you're yeah. Oh, flying, okay, okay, sure. Like you're finding the floor in the chas in the crystal chasm just to find just to move on. Then you have to do all those little fights in one by one. Yeah, I like, see. Find the I see. End of the world is more like a test of your combat skills rather than like exploration. Right, especially since they start mixing in, like, the Invisibles and the Angel Stars. Especially since, like, it has the Heartless Gauntlet at the end, which was absolute, uh, an absolute Mi ball Misery leg. for you during the level 1 run? That was the worst part of the level 1 run, uh, level 1 run, no cap. Seriously, it took you, what, three days? <laughs> Long, it took, it, longer than that. It, I, I, I remember having to, like, grind out for, like, materials. It was awful. Cause you need you need Ultima. <laughs> no, no, oh no, no, I'm I'm not getting level Ultima in level one. Screw that. <laughs> uh, but I remember having to oh, get no, the, it was the... Like you had to use you, had to, you also had to do the fight in a very specific way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you had to get like enough uh, magic enhancement stuff so you can get Simba to just kill like crowds of enemies really quickly because you, you, you get your magic and you get your, your magic stack thing like just right yeah because if you try if you try to like fight the heartless normally you, you're just gonna die there's just too many of them right especially since they're some of the harder ones yeah oh fragment yes. of sorrow i love this theme <laughs> how long have you been recording uh hour 20. Oh, we're making good time. I mean, is it just gonna be like one part? I'm assuming it's just gonna be like two or three. Uh, we'll go as long as we can. Uh, we're not gonna finish the game today, obviously, but we'll do. Obviously. We'll do what we can. I still uh, since Sora that that hallway Sora and the group were just running through it there. I just I just remember how cool it was you actually realize it like oh actually when when you play later games like oh that's actually part of like oh that's like enchanted minion shit and all that in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Ba 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 ba. This song is so good. I love the original songs. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts One does does a pretty good job of hitting the songs just right, you know. Mhm. Mm yeah. I definitely. Pretty much all the. Uh, all the numbered games, I'd say, have, like, really, really strong soundtracks. They have their moments. And, I like, think, honestly, I think... Hard, they really hit hard. Yeah, I think 3 is probably the weakest, but I, it does have, like, a lot of, like, really good ones. When it has a song, you it, remember, you remember it. it. Is, it is, is it bad to say that I don't really remember the 3 soundtrack as much? I mean, I would say, like, a lot of the ones I really like are remixes. Mixes. <laughs> but, like, the, 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 there are some original tracks that are really good, like the Toy Box themes and... The Monstropolis battle theme is really good. Mm -hmm. I don't really yeah, remember the, much the remix, of the... Like you said. Yeah. Are really good. Original songs though are kind of like... I mean, I think that the f problem is that like, there's not a lot of them. The, like ones that stick out or just original songs in general? Original songs in general. But I don't remember a lot of original uh -huh. songs. Well, I mean, I, mean, I could like... be wrong. 
Well, like, what about the, what about the the, the the triple north fight, if you will? Oh, that that's like, uh, that, that's like, uh, it's like a remix and not a remix. Yeah, that's like I I classify that as in like the remix territory because like because it's like it's really good, but it's also not technically original. It's like combining all of their themes. Yeah, like a lot. The, like, I was just talking like Keyblade Graveyard stuff, like specifically, like that stuff bangs, but it's not like unique yeah. themes. Oh yeah, I just remember that some of these songs you actually have to play multiple times just to clear, just to clear all the missions. Yeah, so like, stuff like um. Oh, boss fight time, by the way. Uh, what is it? The Roxas um, the the, the vector to the, to the heavens. Uh, Dondo, Nail, and Bue. Um, like what? The the theme the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Remember how to do? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The theme the theme in Kingdom Hearts three were, were uh, like the vector to heavens and uh, the other promise like mixed together. Like that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see how long it'll take back to the heavens to do on this one. Yeah. Wow, this has the intro has so funny in MIDI. <laughs> Oops. Okay, yeah, I had to press. Okay, I, I pressed up on the D pad. I guess that doesn't work. It's you know it sticks only. <laughs> yeah, it sticks only. It sticks out. <laughs> 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 the con, you know? Yeah. Hey, hey, Thor, it Donald and Goofy weren't part of this part. Yeah, this yeah what is, the fuck? This is illegal. Yeah, they were watching on the side, what the fuck? Also, I know that I'm pretty sure those were like Dream Drop uh, Sora sounds just then. I wouldn't be surprised. That... Yeah. I mean, I don't I mean, think they were. I don't think they would use the first one, yeah. 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 I mean, good luck trying to find those audio files. They're probably, like, outdated, you know, honestly. Probably. I use the dodge period. Yeah, some of these notes can be, like, kind of evil. <laughs> Don't get me started with Final Boss. Yeah, that one's, like, really intense. I couldn't beat that the first time on Proud, but I, 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 but I went back to it later. I'm like, okay, finally, I got it. I barely got that. Um, the, uh, the, the final Xehanort fight, I mean. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Not great. I think you need to pull- I think- I think you need full excellence to completely dodge. Mm. That sounds about right. Oops. Why is the music so fucking good? Well, because you, it helped that you have a really good composer. Yeah, right. Kimamura is 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 just one of the best. It, it, the, the, I don't know why, but that pose kind of looked like Ansa was gonna like high five the Guardian. <laughs> yeah, right. Good going, My bro. <laughs> So I just noticed that Thor is mostly on dodging duty during this fight. Yeah. So when holds come out, and he's dead. Yeah, he just kind of goes away. All right, cool. Away. And we'll never see him again, mm. right, guys? I'll say this. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I do think, like, Kingdom Hearts does a pretty good job with, with its villains overall. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. What, yeah. Disney villains are just no, or, in general? More, or? Well, in general, I guess, but, like, more so, more so, like, the original villains. Okay, sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, what, what are you gonna tell me about the game now? <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, can you give me some darkness, please? I was a good boy. <laughs> you, you idiot, Kingdom Hearts is light. Yeah, right. I, I, I don't, I don't, oh my I darkness. still don't get this. Oh my darkness. <laughs> yes, my darkness. <laughs> Nick, we're gonna just say you. Oh no, what is it? Continued on their journey. <laughs> 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 oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and now you sh I think it's the. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, now we can change teams. It don't ultimately matter, but. Right. 
So we're gonna do it in game order, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna, so we're gonna go. Chain we're gonna of do, memories. We're gonna do get to the left. Yep. To the left. To the left. To the left. Are you gonna change your team? Uh, not now. We'll change it when we uh do like day stuff.